Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 1, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost, and I'm very happy to present this 12-part tutorial series to you for free right here on YouTube. For more free lessons on Microsoft Access, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I release new videos here on YouTube every week. Also, make sure to visit my website at AccessLearningZone.com slash YouTube for more free videos plus discounts on my advanced tutorials and other specials just for YouTube viewers. Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 1 brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor Richard Rost. This class is for the beginner who has little or no experience building Microsoft Access databases. This is the introductory course in our Access series and is designed to teach you the absolute basics of how to build a database. If you've never used Access before, then you're in the right place. Start with this course. However, even if you've been working with Access for some time, you will still benefit from taking this class. Even expert or advanced users will still pick up a few tips and tricks from these lessons. Our goal for today is to get you up and running as quickly as possible building your first Microsoft Access database. We'll begin by learning some terminology, the benefits of using a database, and we'll discover the various components of Microsoft Access. You will learn how to properly plan out your database and determine what different tables, queries, forms, and reports you'll need. We'll go over the Microsoft Access design interface, including the new ribbon menu. You will learn how to build your very first table to track customers. You'll learn about the different types of data that you can store in table fields and about primary keys. You will learn how to enter data into your table, edit that data, and how to work with records. We'll see how to sort and filter our data. Then you'll learn how to build a couple of different queries to display information in different ways. You'll construct a form to provide a nice user-friendly interface for working with data on the screen. And you'll learn how to generate printable reports including a customer list and mailing labels. This course is designed to be used with Microsoft Access 2010. If you're using Access 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along as the two versions are very similar. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade your version of Access or visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 2003 tutorials. Access 2003 is radically different from 2007 and 2010. As mentioned earlier, this is the introductory course for Microsoft Access, but you should already have a basic working knowledge of Microsoft Windows before starting these lessons. You should know how to use the keyboard and mouse, start programs, maximize and minimize windows, use scroll bars, and understand the difference between the backspace and delete keys. If any of these concepts seem unfamiliar to you, then you should go to my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Windows Beginner Tutorials. Optionally, it is helpful, but not required, to know how to use Microsoft Word and or Excel before learning Access. Many of the basic concepts taught in Word and Excel will help you understand Access better. A basic familiarity with the ribbon, editing and formatting text, using the clipboard, and working with rows and columns in a spreadsheet will help you when it comes to learning Access. If you're going to learn how to use all three programs, I recommend that you learn them in the order of Word first, then Excel second, and then finally Access. Word processing and spreadsheets are easier to learn than databases, so if you have a choice, start with those first, then move up to Access. I have tutorials for Word and Excel also available on my website at accesslearningzone.com. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. 
My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert series is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. When you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You will learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Access. Each of my series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the Expert series, then the Advanced, and finally, Developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have special seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in our interactive student forums. If you're watching this course using our custom video player software or online in the web theater, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching your lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by going to accesslearningzone.com slash forums. Here you can also subscribe to the forum updates and receive a notification anytime anyone posts a question or comment. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. I'll do my best to try and help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. While I encourage you to actually build the database that I build in today's class, if you would like to download a sample copy of my database file, you can find it at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what we're going to learn in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn about database terminology. You'll learn what a database is, and you'll learn about the parts of an access database, including tables, queries, forms, and reports. In Lesson 2, we'll discuss planning your database. What tables do you need? What fields should go in each table? What do you want your forms and reports to look like? In Lesson 3, we're going to learn about the different parts of the Microsoft Access interface. In Lesson 4, we're going to begin building our customer table. In Lesson 5, we're continuing to build the customer table. 
In lesson six, we'll begin entering data into our customer table. In lesson seven, we're continuing to enter data into our customer table. In lesson eight, we're going to learn how to sort and filter the data in our tables. In lesson nine, we'll learn how to build a query, apply a multi-field sort to the query, and a criteria filter. In lesson 10, we're going to build a customer form so we can present our user with a nice friendly interface for editing records. In lesson 11, we'll build a couple of different customer reports, including some customer mailing labels. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right now and also don't forget to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube for more advanced lessons and other specials just for YouTube viewers.